All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are based in. Uh, thank you once again for joining us today uh, at the pre-hackathon community event number two for the Polkadot Hackathon North America edition. Uh, today is pretty much a special, uh, special session where we have actually invited past winners for the Polkadot Hackathon APEC edition to kind of sh give you a little bit sharing of their journey and experiences um, be it during the hackathon and, uh, you know, some of the uh, post-hackathon matters as well, just to help you understand a little bit what kind of experience you will be going through um, with this uh, hackathon that we are kind of running at the same time. Uh, and But before we begin, um, this is just kind of uh, a shout out for those who have yet registered for the hackathon. Uh, what you could do right now um, is to kind of pick up your mobile phone and scan the QR code that you see on screen. Um, but if not, uh, Zofia, maybe just would need your help to kind of put it out there on chat for people to kind of click on the registration link at any point of time during the session today as well. So I'll, I'll be covering a little bit more, basically um, why you should be registering for. And yes, um, this is actually a part of Polkadot Hackathon Global Series. And uh, as you see on the screen, the next stop will happen in the North American region. So what to expect uh, at the hackathon? Uh, it's really a six weeks uh, of hacking. Uh, and this time round, um, a little bit different from what we have done for the APEC edition is to introduce uh, five categories uh, for you to really work on uh, and, and target based on your area of expertise and um, to submit your projects. This time round, what we're trying to do is apart from just focusing on you utilizing substrate and building on substrate, um, what we're trying to do here is to expand uh, what you could actually work on. And um, with that, we have also included pretty much quite a number of uh, ecosystem teams who have actually submitted their own challenges, which you can utilize to integrate to the main project that you're going to work on, depending on the categories that you've actually picked up as well. So there's lots of networking opportunities uh, that um, the team over here have actually worked hard to kind of plan out to ensure that, you know, you get the best out of this six weeks that you're with us for the hackathon. Uh, lots of mentor office hours with a wide variety of uh, um, mentors with different expertise will be guiding you along, along with lots of uh, various workshops that are uh, organized by the different ecosystem teams. And really, um, there's one opportunity for us to kind of meet in person as well, which I'll touch on a little bit later on as well. So as mentioned previously for the hackathon, um, really five uh, categories that you can look at for participation. And the first one uh, what, that you can look at will really be the interfaces and experiences. Um, the idea here is really on building uh, UI and UX uh, fundamentals, uh, especially for those who are looking at uh, gaining different experiences um, to build a wide variety of interfaces and user experience that the chain in itself can adopt. Uh, next is really on uh, discovering um, the breadth of DAO functionality and governance mechanism. Um, over here is really about exploring different ideas, uh, what you you know, including creation of new DAOs and necessary tooling that can be involved um, in this development process. And um, the, the third uh, category to really look at would be um, the various types of toolings and application that actually can be used to expand Web3. Um, the idea here is really for those who are interested in building a better web, uh, can explore use cases uh, for open source technologies, um, to run peer-to-peer -peer -peer networks, for example. Uh, the other two uh, categories uh, will be pretty much straightforward. Uh, it's really focusing on DeFi and NFTs, uh, which is something that's really much more talked about um, in the Web3 space. Uh, and you know, with all these five categories, uh, it is really lots of opportunity for you to explore based on your own uh, expertise, based on your current knowledge that you have uh, in terms of building um, be it using Solidity um, and all the other um, uh, languages that you are good at. But on top of this, uh, what we have done for the hackathon, uh, apart from the main categories that you can be working on, uh, it's introducing what we call a ecosystem teams 
challenges. Uh, these challenges essentially uh, are bounties uh, that you can take on to integrate onto your main project. So there's really lots of combination that you can really look at uh, while you're building for an interface and um, interface and experience uh, category. For example, you can really look at integrating one or more ecosystem team challenges of which then your submission will actually be up for the various bounties um, that you can look at as well. I'm not going to go through in details um, what these bounties are, but essentially we have ecosystem teams from a Kala, uh, A Star, Bitfrost, Crust Network, Equilibrium, Ice Network, Interlay, Fala Network, Subsquid, uh, Robonomics, uh, RMRK, um, Unique Network, uh, ZGIST, uh, Subquery. And this time around, we have also one where a couple of ecosystem teams have actually come together uh, collect, uh, collaboratively to introduce a bounty that you can kind of take on, which is Subquery, Moonbeam, Akala, and Hydra DX as well. So lots are, lots are at stake. Uh, we have, as of today, 583,000 uh, USD uh, up for grabs in terms of the total price pool. And uh, it is still kind of growing as we are accepting a few more ecosystem teams that will be contributing the challenge as well. So there's really a lot um, in terms of price money that you can really look forward to when it comes to your project submissions. And there are really a lot of different combinations that you can really look at in terms of um, the types of ideas and projects you can submit for the hackathon in itself. So for the main category prizes, uh, and this is actually funded by the Polkadot Treasury, uh, we will actually select an overall winner walking away with a grand prize of 30,000 USD uh, along with Hackathon Swagbox and Discount for Substrate Runtime Academy. For each category as well, uh, we will also be announcing a first, second and third place winner. Uh, each team will be walking away with 20,000, 15,000 and 10,000 USD respectively as well. Uh, one of the interesting awards that we are also be introducing, and that's where everyone out there, um, be it you participate in a hackathon or not, uh, do have the power to decide uh, which, uh, which are the ideas that you think um, is the best. And we will actually be awarding three teams with a community choice award, uh, where each of the teams will be awarded with 5,000 USD, hackathon swag box, and similarly, uh, are entitled for discount for the Substrate Runtime Academy as well. The ecosystem team challenges uh, are, uh, are of varied amounts. And uh, for each of these ecosystem team challenge, there are slightly varied um, uh, submission uh, items that uh, you have to add on to the main criteria that will be stated in your participant guide, which you will receive the moment you have actually registered for the hackathon. Uh, do reach out to the ecosystem teams accordingly, uh, and they are actually available on the Polkadot uh, Discord server, uh, where you can um, check in with any of the mentors uh, from each of the ecosystem teams to kind of find out more in details, um, the actual payout in terms of um, the bounties that you have actually worked on, uh, or similarly, uh, any of the help that you need to get along uh, to, to work on your projects uh, along the way as well. So. Um, this price pool is really growing day-to-day uh, -day basis, um, and we are looking uh, at a huge number of prizes that you can really look at when participating at this hackathon. So a quick announcement here, and this is kind of official at the same time, that uh, as part of the hackathon experience, uh, we also uh, are really excited to have all of you to actually participate to join us at the Hacker House, which will take place at New York City. Um, the venue will be at Industry City uh, at Brooklyn area from the June 23rd to June 28th itself. Uh, what you can do right now is actually to scan the QR code to register your interest today. Uh, and just, just um, take note that we do have limited seats at the Hacker House and all reg registered interests at this point of time will be contacted to confirm your attendance uh, closer to date as well. Uh, th grab this opportunity uh, to really meet folks um, from the Polkadot team uh, or even, you know, the various ecosystem teams as well. We have lined up lots of programs um, from workshops, 
um, to lightning topic sharing, um, to even uh, networking sessions and games night that you can really look forward to. Um, but most importantly, it's also a safe space um, an environment that is actually catered for you to actually do um, building on on your projects. And we do have mentors that will be readily available on site um, throughout these six days uh, to get you going with your projects as well. So this is a um, great opportunity for uh, every one of us. Uh, I believe lots of us have been missing this kind of in-person action when it comes to any of the hackathon that we do have. Uh, and this is really something that um, the team from Polkadot and the ecosystem team are really looking forward to meet every single individuals uh, in New York City itself. So um, without further ado, uh, today we have actually invited two teams uh, who are actually past winners for the APEC uh, edition, uh, which actually took place uh, last, last year uh, in October to December. Um, the idea here is really for them to share a little bit more from their own perspective, their journey, and uh, what kind of experiences they have actually gone through uh, and similarly post the hackathon what are, what were the some of the opportunities that they were able to leverage on at the same time so inviting for from the first team uh team css uh, will be alex um and they are the first prize winner for the impact <clears throat> so um i'll pass the time to you alex okay uh thank you justin hello everyone uh, i'm alex Thurston Liu from india I'm the team lead at Cess Lab, and we are currently developing decentralized cloud storage system, or the cumulus encrypted storage system, Cess, which is based on Substrate. Uh, when we first became aware of Polkadot Hackathon ABC edition, we knew that we had to participate. And our main objectives were to challenge and improve our team's technical abilities during the competition and to increase our company's profile within the industry. Uh, that would allow us to build a better uh, network with passionate people and projects alike. Uh, so we signed up for the chain track and chose to build factor trading market um, for data based on test network. Uh, that consisted of decentralized application. Uh, Justin, can you please? Uh, Go to the next slide. Uh, that consists of decentralized application uh, serving global users' needs uh, in data purchasing and its storage on the SES network. Uh, supported by Polkadot's ecosystem, it provided data sharing and trading services uh, and ensures data uh, safety holistically by implementing crucial technologies such as blockchain distributed cloud storage and uh, data fingerprint extraction. So despite having encountered, encountered uh, setbacks during the competition, uh, our team preserved and we found ourselves being honored uh, with the first prize in Polkadot uh, Hackathon. And uh, what we gained from participating in Hackathon surpassed our expectations. Beside networking, publicity, and knowledge that our team gained, participating in Hackathon also uh, clarified the follow-up development path for SES. With the exposure, we also met many investors who are now helping us to achieve our future goals. Um, uh, Justin, please, uh, next slide. Thank you. Uh, on January 2022, we pass all the Web3 Foundation uh, grant milestones uh, deliveries and also pass the first milestone delivery of Web3 Foundation uh, on, uh, after this slide. And officially joined Substrate Builder Program on February 2022. Yeah. Uh, so our best advice for future participants uh, is First of all, don't be afraid of difficulties. Perseverance is the key. Number two, like your biggest advisory is yourself. And finally, appropriate project schedule planning is the fundamental for success. If you all are interested in Polkadot, uh, but don't know how to get started, we highly recommend participating in Polkadot Hackathon and learn from Polkadot Pathways. This will help you uh, 
this will be like your first and the most important step toward Bulgarot ecosystem and you won't regret it. I wish you all uh, the very best. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask in the chat. Thank you. Yep. Um, thank you, Alex, for the sharing. Uh, now the next team that we're actually, we will be bringing on is actually Team Chocolate. Um, they are the second prize uh, winner for the APEC edition. And at the same time, they were actually um, the public's choice, um, which we have actually gone through a, a round of public vote that um, they have been called as um, a, a, a idea that, that most of the people out there have actually been voted for. So um, let's invite uh, Islam Ibrahim for, for him to actually share a little bit more on about his team's journey and experience as well. So uh, Islam. Hello everyone. My name is Islam Gerb Ibrahim. I'm the lead developer at Chocolate Network. And to give a bit about chocolate, we are a reviews platform or a community feedback mechanism and a platform for anonymous trusted knowledge exchange all right i think this is on the next slide yeah um we integrate three sources of trust on the platform to ensure that the reviews that are submitted on our platform are are authentic these are community reviews, machine learning, and all of this is based on a substrate chain. Now these all come together to meet our final goal or our main goal for this whole platform, which is to help combat spam and scam in the whole system. Um, we came to know of the APAC hackathon after our experience with the ENCODE hackathon through the Medium post that was shared and Having had an absolutely amazing experience during the Encode Hackathon, we decided to have a try at another one of the Polkadot Ecosystems Hackathons. And it was quite the refreshing experience. Our goals for this hackathon were to build a proof of concept for our user authentication system and also include bot protection for our platform, improve our thesis, that is the whole concept of the platform, gain more insight as to how people feel about it, see where our improvement opportunities are and also of course to earn prizes and the swag that was included in the medium post if possible could we have next slide now during the hackathon um we faced quite a few challenges mostly in the implementation end of things so this included for myself personally, switching the focus to the back end as a front end developer, and then all of that working with the limitations of Web3 in mind, such as um, open sourcing the software, ensuring that um, a large part of it does not depend on closed source software, and also ensuring that we leverage as much as possible the opportunities available in Web3, and then Another thing was to prioritize which components we're going to build out for this hackathon as our platform is quite large. So we were able to streamline that view to the authentication feature I mentioned earlier. And then also we had to balance between UI, UX and functionality, which is between making things look good and actually making things functional. So those are the different challenges that we had to sort of push through as we were going through the hackathon. But luckily though, we we're able to overcome these challenges and we completed the hackathon with our sign up proof of concept plans for web3 logins that is integrating web3 in that login system and we also included captcha to prevent bots from signing up to our platform we also gained a much broader and deeper understanding of our capabilities as a team we we're able to network with the different teams who are also going through the hackathon and we also had absolutely priceless um, advice from the organizers of the hackathon during the mentorship sessions and through that we were able to persist and luckily we were rewarded with the 
or thankfully were rewarded with the second place during the hackathon. So in general, my final remark to everyone who's going into this hackathon is to believe in yourself, first of all, and to leverage the many amazing resources that are available during this hackathon event, which include the Polkadot Pathways. The Substrate Docs is very amazing. It's well, it's full of very rich information. And of course, the different code bases of the palettes and ecosystem projects available are all treasure troves of information you could use to improve on what you're building. And most of all, have fun and speak to other people, learn from others and learn from each other. Thank you. Thank you, Islam, for the sharing. Um, and I really thank you um, to both teams, uh, Alex and uh, Islam, uh, who are representing their own individual's team to actually do a little bit of sharing about what their experiences and journey uh, is like, um, be it from uh, the objective they would like to achieve coming into the hackathon uh, to what they have been through during the hackathon along with the challenges that they were able to overcome. But last but not least is really about post-hackathon, what were some of the opportunities or learnings that they have actually gotten out of it as well. So. As a recap for um, the Polkadot Hackathon, uh, it's really a six weeks worth of hacking uh, starting next Monday on uh, May 30th to the July 11th. And uh, we have a large pool uh, as of now standing at $583,000 and counting for you to uh, up for grabs um, in terms of the projects that you are submitting along with five categories um, and to be able to integrate with ecosystem team challenges uh, how you actually deem fit on what it can be integrated to the main categories of um, the, the hackathon challenge that you can work with as well. Uh, at the same time, we really have lots of resources. Um, as uh, Islam mentioned earlier on, there is actually Polkadot Pathways uh, and also curated technical um, documentations that's actually readily available in the participants guide that you would receive the moment you actually um, join the hackathon uh, on that post. Um, this will be in an email that will be sent to you right after you have actually joined us for the hackathon. Uh, and at the same time, we have a huge panel of mentors who will be there um, with varied expertise to guide you along with any of the questions that you have, um, be it from the idea standpoint or even um, the building part uh, as well. Um, we have lots of them already available on the Polkadot Discord server as well. Um, as mentioned, there were lots of uh, networking opportunities. Uh, one such one will be right after opening ceremony when um, happening on next Monday um, and a few more sessions that will come along. Uh, but most importantly, the Hacker House that I've mentioned earlier on will be a great opportunity for you to meet the people that are participating at the Hackathon, uh, similarly with the Polkadot team and the ecosystem team in person um, in New York City as well. So once again, uh, a gentle reminder, um, that Hacker House will be happening in New York City. Uh, it's going to take place on the 23rd to 28th of June in Brooklyn. And um, if you are really excited to join us, um, do scan the QR code that you see on the screen right now. Um, and Zofia have actually put up the registration link uh, earlier on in the chat, um, which you can scroll through to look at the form that you can fill up to uh, sign up your interest to join us at the hackathon. Thank you, Zofi. Uh, as a reminder, we do have limited seats uh, at this point of time. So um, do register um, to get going uh, in order to secure a seat at the Hacker House um, and the hackathon as well. So the hackathon link is actually in the chat and the Hacker House similarly has also been put up at the chat as well. Um, we have also create, uh, curated a learning modules um, that can help you go along. While you know over the weekends, if you just like to get yourself a little bit more acquainted with the Polkadot ecosystem as a head start before diving in into the ideation and building part, um, it will be a great opportunity for you to actually register your Polkadot Pathways account if you have not already done so. Uh, but if you ha already have an account, uh, similarly scanning this QR code will bring you to the modules specific to 
the North America edition and uh, go through the modules and rack up some points where top 100 scorers at the end of the hackathon, um, you will actually get yourself a polka dot spec t-shirt. So, uh, you know, this is just something that uh, Urban have shared earlier on in the previous uh, pre-hackathon event. Uh, Polkadot has kind of recently went on a slight rebrand. Um, as you can see, the, the logos are slightly different from what you have seen, especially for those who are already at the APAC edition. Um, and that similarly means that all swags that Polkadot actually owns um, did have a refresh. So uh, it's a great opportunity for you to walk away with some um, that you can call it your own and something to kind of brag about as well that, uh, you know, as and wherever that you are as well. So big question, uh, I believe most of the people would be wondering uh, right here today would be how do I get started? So number one, uh, it's really to register for the hackathon. Uh, essentially, that will be your entry ticket to everything mentioned above about the hackathon from qualifying um, the award prizes to networking opportunities to resources uh, and mentorship. Um, right now, click on the link on the chat box or scan the QR code for you to go through the registration process um, to get you registered for the hackathon and join us. Uh, as mentioned, a email will be sent to you the moment you have successfully registered for the hackathon. Um, email will contain a couple of key items for you. One, it's for you to join the Polkadot Discord server. This will be the place where you are able to ask any of your technical questions, be it to the Polkadot team, uh, to the Parity team, uh, or any of the ecosystem teams that you are intending to integrate their challenges um, into the main project that you're building as well. Uh, and all the announcements about the hackathon will also be made over there. Uh, we have also created a hackathon ca calendar, which you can save to your own so that you do not miss out on um, any of the sessions that is upcoming as well. Uh, as a quick note to the folks out there today, um, I did mention that the opening ceremony will be happening next Monday and the entire week of next week will be dedicated to substrate related technical workshop, which includes introducing you to the Polkadot ecosystem. Uh, introduction to Substrate, introduction to Ink, and also lastly, introduction to Polkadot.js. So these are just sessions that will help you get started build, uh, to build uh, and understand the Polkadot ecosystem. So don't miss any of the sessions. They're going to, every session is going to happen on a daily basis next week. Uh, so don't miss any of them as well. So if you have any questions, uh, I believe it will be a great opportunity for you to put them down uh, in Crowdcast. Uh, and I'll, if not, you can always drop it on the chat box and we can uh, participate. So key question over here uh, for Polkadot Hackathon uh, North America edition. Uh, while it is, while we call them the North American edition, uh, it does, we do not just strictly uh, we do not just restrict for folks who are only in the North American region to participate. Uh, anyone uh, around the world globally uh, can register to participate for the hackathon um, and even to kind of turn up at the hacker house. Uh, it's free for it is free admission for the hacker house. Uh, but do take note that uh, when it comes to travel and accommodation, um, that will be something that you have to work out on your own. What kind of projects can we make with Substrate apart from a blockchain? Um, the hackathon in itself uh, largely will be focusing on the Web3 space, uh, much more essentially where Polkadot uh, ecosystem would be. So uh, most of the things that you're going to build should be related to um, blockchain technology. Um, but there are actually, the categories are broad enough for you to really explore um, the types of project and ideas that you could develop, which the ecosystem could um, take on in time to come as well. So for non-developers and engineers, uh, this will also be a great opportunity for you to form teams uh, with people who are who have actually started their journey as a developer. Um, the idea here is any teams that are working on a idea um, will require support from functions uh, that are non-devs, such as considerations of UI UX, um, usability, um, the use cases, um, and how it actually 
best impact or integrate into the Web3 ecosystem in general as well. Um, it also will be a great opportunity for you to explore potentially. Um, who knows? Uh, your interest, uh, you, you may develop your interest uh, as being a developer as you kind of go through the hackathon in itself as well. So great opportunity for you to take note as well. What is the approximate time for the team to review a Polkadot challenge once it's been submitted for review? Yep, so the submission deadline for submission will actually be on the July, 11th of July, and um, the assessment of the projects will take about a week before we have our closing ceremony where we will actually announce the winners in itself. So while there's actually six weeks of building fees, um, I, we highly recommend for you to start at least ideating um, what you would like to build or just kind of explore. And once we actually kickstart the hackathon on May 30th, um, it will be a time that you can actually start writing down your code. Uh, and similarly to actually reach out to any of the mentors on the Polkadot Discord server um, to get to ask them any questions to help you along as well. So, yep. I think that's pretty much it for the questions. Um, what you could, um, for those of you joining us today, uh, if there are any um, uh, questions that you would like to check in, uh, you could reach out to me. My name is Justin uh, on the Polkadot Discord server um, or any of the mentors out there to help you along with the technical questions that you have as well. Right. Yep. Thank you. Right. Um, thank you so much for today. Uh, please take care and we all look forward to the opening ceremony next Monday. Take care.